statement on the start of public consultations on the state of the nation. December Mbili Makal of Mbili Nashirina Mbili As was expected the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee of the National Assembly has recommended the formation of a tribunal to kick out the four IABC commissioners and as we are talking here already the commission of the tribunal has already been set up the outcome was predetermined and there was clearly no need for JLAC to spend taxpayers' money purporting to be giving a hearing to the four commissioners. You have said before, and we will say it again, the tri tribulations of the commissioners are not about 2022 elections. This is about 2027 elections. That is why it is not Wafula Chebukati facing JLAC, despite being indicted by the Supreme Court. The four are being forced out because William Ruto and the older administration want a clean slate at the IBC and fill it with his stooges and henchmen for the 2027 elections. Mr. Ruto wants to rig the 2027 elections in 2022. The order is on the campaign trail for the 2022 uh, to, for the 2027 elections in 2022. If that is what the administration has decided to prioritize, we are ready to join them down that path. As a mere party, our concern and fear is that we have been here before. We were here in 2007 when the Quebec administration single-handedly picked IBC officials ahead of the elections. We protested. We were called names. We were told the administration was acting within the law. That, is, that single undertaking, when it was over, left more than 1,300 Kenyans dead, pulled thousands of Kenyans out of their homes, and drove the economy into the gutters through the post-election violence. As happened back then, Uda is amending the laws governing the appointment of IBC commissioners to allow the administration complete leeway to pack the commission with his henchmen. You have gone back, back way before. We have gone back that way before the, I, the IPPG deal that allowed the government and opposition specific numbers at the commission. As a new party, we wish to underscore that Ruto has taken a machete to hack the pieces and mutilate the 2010 constitution, which he did not support with the leader of the red flag. We are witnessing the emergence of a darker form of dictatorship than what we witness under Khan. We as a new are here to let Kenyans know that with the benefit of history, we are going to protest and resist much more strongly than we did in 2007, because we now know just how wrong this can go if we do not stop it now. So we appeal to Kenyans to get us right and clear. This is not about the four commissioners. This is about the 2027 elections that could go terribly wrong if we let the Ruto administration get away with the fires they are, li they are fighting, they are lighting. This is about resisting the capture and the emasculation of key institutions that need their independence to stand up for the country when uh, need be. We need to jealously preserve and protect the independence of our institutions. In 2020, we witnessed strong and independent US, institu US institutions stand up to protect 
integrity of elections and preserve democracy despite extreme pressure by a section of the executive. That is what we need here. It is what you are launching the fight here, the, the fight for here today. The judiciary has been captured. The criminal justice system is collapsing. That is why cases are rapidly being dropped, criminals being celebrated and turned into prosecution witnesses. The security sector is being targeted and intimidated so that it can be captured. IBC is being intimidated so that it can be captured fully. Parliament is self gone through bribery and blackmail. MPs are being bought to shift sides and to ratify the agenda of the executive. If all these institutions submit the orders schemes, we are in, in, in real danger of losing everything we have fought for and won over the last 30 years. We are in real danger of starting back to the 1980s. As a meal, we are here to announce our readiness to stop that slide into the past. We are here to announce that we are rolling up our sleeves to stop the root administration from taking us back to the days when Parliament changed or enacted very serious laws within minutes as the, at the behest of the executive. We are here to announce that we will stop this country from going back to the days when the judiciary had cases in the middle of the night and dispensed sentences prescribed by the executive. We are here to announce that we will not allow this regime to take us back to the days when police were mere hit squads doing the bidding of the president. We are, we are witnessing extremely skewed appointments to the public office by this administration. We are here to announce that we will not allow this country to return to the era when public service was run by members of one or two communities because the president was insecure and saw enemies out of every tribe other than his own tribe. We are here to stop a return to one-man rule ruled through executive fiat. As we talk now, we are told a ship has docked in Mombasa with thousands of tons of maize. That importation came through the executive fiat. We maintain our rejection of the GMO foods and crops. Azimia therefore calls on patriotic Kenyans to be vigilant and stop the root administration from dumping that maze at the port until we know its nature. Fellow Kenyans, I have been, I have been around with you for long. Millions of you voted for me in the last elections. You won that election. Millions of you call me Baba. I raise these issues because I have witnessed a dictatorship emerge and bloom. I have witnessed self-proclaimed God-fearing leaders preside over the persecution, false persecution, and even murder of innocent Kenyans. I have witnessed an insecure administration run our economy to the drains. Those who witnessed this era with me should tell our young people the painful struggle it took to get the freedom we have today. Let us share our, our eyewitness accounts and experiences so that, that era, of that era with our children. There's a real danger that we are heading back to the 1980s. We should be ready and willing to work with those sections of our society that have always stood up for the nation when perils reared their, their head. The civil society, faith leaders, the academia, and workers' unions. I would not wish any Kenyan to go through 
what some of us have been through. But I'm fearing for Kenya. I'm fearing for my country. You have to stand up now because later it will be too late. You are ready and willing to work with those sections of our society that have stood up for the nation when parents reared their ugly high heads. The society, faith leaders, the academia, and the workers' unions. That's why from today, we announce the launch of that pushback we talked about a few days ago. On the 7th of December, that is Thursday next week, at the historic and country grounds here in Nairobi, we will launch a public consultation. I repeat, on the 7th of December, at the historic Mukundi Ground in Nairobi, we launch a public consultation with the people of Kenya to brainstorm on the direction the country is taking. Then we will return to Kamukundi Grounds on the 12th of December to continue with these consultations on the state of the Kenyan nation and also to have a prayer for Kenya, a prayer for democracy in our country which is right now under a threat by this administration. Finally, we wish to remind Mr. Ruto that this country has had a system like the one he is trying to reinvent. We fought that system. We brought down that system. We will do so to the one he is inventing now. We will bring it down. Let us all stand up for our country before it is too late. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya. End of the statement. As you know. 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 As you know.